Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Sunil Ravi Pari. I lead Zero Trust initiatives at Anthem. Today's session is about federating trust in healthcare with SPIFI. Essentially, healthcare systems and data have been subjected to cyber attacks and ransomware since long time. This session will talk about how uh, healthcare systems and data consisting of PHI and PI will be secured with a new paradigm shift in technologies in cloud native zero trust solution to have workload identity and trust within healthcare systems and extending this zero trust uh, to partners healthcare systems, which connect with uh, Anthem's HealthOS platform to securely authenticate and exchange data. So what's zero trust? Most of you might be familiar with zero trust, uh, which could be defined in various uh, ways. So, but NIST coined the definition saying that it's an evolving set of cybersecurity paradigms that move defenses from static network-based perimeter to focus on user assets and resources. A zero trust architecture uses zero trust principles uh, to plan industrial and enterprise infrastructure and workflows. And also it assumes that there is no implicit trust granted to assets or user accounts based solely on their network location. Authentication and authorization are two discrete functions performed before a session uh, to an enterprise resource is established. And also zero trust is a response to enterprise network trends that include remote users, bring your own device, and cloud-based assets that are not located within enterprise own boundary. And also zero trust focuses on protecting resources such as assets, services, workflows, network, as the network location is no longer seen as a prime component to the security posture of the resource. Anthem HealthOS platform harnesses uh, millions of members of healthcare data of Anthem's members, and how can Anthem use its member data essentially? So the platform provides insights and also the benefits offered by HealthOS is that it's acts as an operating system uh, to enable seamless health plan provider collaboration. So um, this healthcare platform can also extend or rather provide insights into the member data by, ex by giving external clients access to this platform. So the answer to this is to essentially federate across the clusters. So the benefits uh, of, provide, of doing a federated zero trust uh, approach is that using SPIFI is that it provides a mutual TLS between services and does endpoint verification and also integrates container orchestrator like Kubernetes. So the tech stack, which does the heavy lifting is essentially mutual TLS, SPIFI and Spire, is JAR token and policy agents for authorization and for monitoring observability agents. Let's uh, dig deeper into the architecture itself by taking here an, exa an example of a existing um, federated architecture with an external client, Robin. So Robin is an external client who would like to get insights of uh, Anthem's member data through HealthOS platform. So here we have Robin's EKS cluster and HealthOS EKS cluster. So we require that there are a, a requirement, set of requirements, like it should be running on Linux um, and have uh, ports open for TCP connections and all the outbound ports. And also um, there is a, a storage available on Kubernetes to have um, PVC. So once we deploy these Spire servers on both the clusters and the agents, um, as well as the Envoy proxy uh, to do the 
uh, proxy connection. The federated approach of Spiffy architecture would have the trust trust domain set up and then have the uh, configurations on both the clusters set up to point to each other's trust domains and the open ports and then have the uh, trust bundle exchange between the health OS cluster and the Robin cluster. So that way uh, the whole end-to-end uh, -end federation is uh, configured, set up and bootstrapped. So if you can see in the architecture diagram here, this the Spire server from the health OS and Robin, they talk to each other to establish the trust. And then the workload identity happens on each cluster for the workloads they're interacting with on health OS. There are certain services like health OS gateway and health OS authentication. And on the Robins cluster, you have Robin service, which would um, authenticate with health OS gateway through the Envoy proxy and then uh, use a, once authenticated, use the API to get uh, member data uh, and insights from the HealthOS platform. So this is the high level architecture and a high level feder spy, Spiffy Federation use case with an external client from Anthem's HealthOS to a Robin um, partner. But this, this could be replicated with multiple partners and uh, set up the multiple federations and scale up uh, for uh, giving insights into health anthems member data. So um, going to the next, um, so, so once since we have this uh, federations established now, if there are any other questions, I'll be available uh, on the chat. Uh, please ping me or you can uh, contact me offline. 